get started. Hello, you guys. Today, I am coming to you with a DIY project. Um, they are copycat um, juju cats. So basically, I was trying to fill a space in my loft and the wall is so big and white and empty and I went on Pinterest and I found these really cool juju hats that um, I never even heard of them before but what they are it's a headdress that Cameron women wear that signify prosperity and when I went and looked at the prices of those I immediately clicked off of it because $400 a little bit out of my budget so me and my husband went out looking for feathers and basically the feathers that they have in the store um, they sell a small quantity of them and you would have to have like uh, a whole lot of them in order to create the look that you want so we saw these um, boa feathers and they look like this on the strands and this is what we decided to create our juju hats with. I don't want to call it a juju hat because that's not what it is. It's a copycat version, but basically, this is the end result. And you just hang these on your wall. Is this not the prettiest thing ever? And the cool thing about this is you can use it in any room in your home. And you can also use it if you're hosting a, an event and you want to decorate a space. And I can see this at a, a wedding. These are absolutely gorgeous. So today, I'm gonna show you how to create your own. And this is also another one that I did, it's blue. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna let you know what you'll need to get started. And it's very simple. You're gonna need a template. We use cardboard and basically you just cut us a perfect circle and the circle um, should be any size that you need your um, juju hat to look like and this is just the one that I chose because I wanted them big I like them when they look bigger and be aware that there's gonna be feathers everywhere so warning do not cut these boar feathers because if you do your house gonna be looking like you raising chickens okay then you are going to need some spray adhesive. Uh, make sure you get the heavy duty kind because um, eventually you will be hanging these on the wall and you wanna make sure that the feathers don't separate from your template. So you're gonna need a spray adhesive and you are going to need a cardboard box and, uh, to adhere your feathers to. You're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut this with and then you are going to need your boa feathers. Luckily, we were able to find ours um, in store, the blue ones and the white ones, because apparently Halloween, a lot of people wear boa feathers. These came today, I had to order these on Etsy. They were $5 a strand, which is very expensive. This project cost, cost us, what, under 20 bucks? So it's very inexpensive to make because these, the real version of these cost $400 and up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with it. Um, I'm gonna start by spraying, and you need to make sure you put something down on your floors or whatever area you're gonna be working from. If you wanna, oh, I forgot to mention. This right here, I guess this is what they um, stick the feathers to, and I'm probably saying um a million times, but you want to cut that off and I wish I had cut it off on my other ones but I did not thought the thing was gonna come apart but make sure you don't cut down too far because it's what holds the strand of um, boa feathers together okay so there's no more on that end I'm telling y'all it is feathers everywhere and they hard to sweep up okay so you want to start off with this and you want to spray your glue all on it. Make sure you cover every surface of this um, cardboard template. Now I'm going to do it a little differently than I did the first one. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I shouldn't have did it like that. Okay, you may have to film and get another one, but you can do it like this 
but this might be cool because you want to make sure yeah this, i like this way better make sure your feathers stick to the glue and basically you just want to go all the way around wrap it around itself like that you can kind of scoot them in a little bit press down at the end what we're going to do is um we're gonna go back under, underneath the areas that didn't stick, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna keep working. Go on the outside perimeter and just spray again. And you just wanna start wrapping it around itself. You can have some of the feathers hanging out because that makes it look fuller. Going around, I still see some brown like this of the cord cardboard box on the edges. So I'm gonna keep going around and put some more spray on it. And you just but basically you're gonna keep swirling it around in a circle until there is no more of this left. And you can spray over the feathers as long as you're covering it with another row. Hold on, let me show you what I'm talking about. So basically, if you got this right here, you want to spray it like this and spray only like that if you know you're going to cover another row of it and you just mash it down be sure to press down so it can adhere and we don't hang them right away we let it dry and what i'm going to do this is the finished product but what i'm going to do is go underneath it all I'm going to do is go underneath it and I'm going to make sure that all of the feathers are stuck to the template. So just watch how I do that. Pull this up like it. Basically when I can pull it up, I'm going to go underneath it and I'm going to lay it down on top of that glue just to make sure it sticks. Make sure it sticks. Just do that all the way around. This is not a hard project, uh, baby. Not a baby, but a young child could do it. I mean, it's really simple and it's not a lot of time involved in doing this. How's it look, honey? Because I can't even see when I raise it up. Oh, it's pretty. I'm going to spray, just go around the perimeter, spray it. You want to make sure it sticks because it's going to be hanging on your skin. Huh? Shake the can. I can hear you in the background. It's okay. Okay, give people talking in the background. All the time, you see the videos, you hear people in the background. That's fine. That's my husband. He all right. See? How it look like? Hold it up again. And basically, this is gonna go along with this one, and I'm gonna have a gray one, to accompany it. And I'll show you guys how it looks fun. So basically, that is it. So if you are like me and do not want to spend hundreds of dollars on wall decor, you can do this stuff on your own. Do it yourself projects are really fun. And you get a great sense of, of accomplishment knowing that you created something on your own for under 20 bucks. All you need is a cardboard box, some bowl of feathers, scissors and some spray adhesive and damn you have a beautiful wall decor okay that is it people and join me again on my channel for more DIY